Hi everybody, my name is Oxy, I'm a personal stylist and in this video I will share with you my favorites of January. I actually really enjoy such kind of video, I usually watch them myself on YouTube, so I was thinking why not to do it myself and that's exactly why we are here. So let's start with January favorites. I think I will be trying to collect things from everywhere, not just fashion, so it will be related to different things. and. This time I have top 10 favorites, some new, some not new. My favorite number one of this month is rice bran oil. So as you can see from the name, it's basically an oil made of rice or extracted from rice. And I initially purchased it with the idea that I will be using it for face massage, but actually for face massage, apparently I don't need an oil. So it was just standing there until I actually tried it on my skin. And it was amazing. So this oil is considered as a dry oil, meaning that it, it absorbs really quickly. And since the moment I actually realized how good it is for my skin, I started using it after shower, just when I shower at night. I started using it. I started using it. Um, yeah, basically every single day, or as I said, every time I take shower at night, I put it on and it is amazing. I think no cream has ever made my skin that soft it just i mean it's just magic i'm really really surprised how good it is i bought it on amazon it was like 10 euros i think for a liter or half a liter i mean it's really cheap comparing to all these you know luxury fancy creams so i definitely recommend trying it on if you were searching for something like this and I'm planning on trying it on my hair too. And that brings me to my favorite number two of January, which is hair oiling. I've done this before, so it's not my first time, you know, using oil on my hair, but I must say that I've literally forgotten about it for a really, really long time. Until recently when one of uh, the influencers, one of my favorite bloggers started doing it and started talking about it and how good it is. And I actually remember that I used to do it and that's what I've been doing the whole January and I love the effect. I now use only coconut oil, I am thinking of purchasing some other oils, but I wanted to see also how consistent will I be with this. And uh, as I said, I am thinking also of using this rice bran oil, I also read that it's amazing for hair. So yes, that's definitely a really really nice thing to do for your hair. Your hair is more soft, it's more nourished. I don't know if it influences or not the growth of your hair, I haven't seen it yet, at least on my hair, but I can definitely say that in general it does make your hair look better. Going further with the beauty topics, and I wanted to mention my absolute favorite of the January 2023, and it's a new perfume that I received for Christmas from my husband, and it's Killian Forbidden Games. I have actually haven't seen it basically almost nowhere, so the only place I've, I saw it was in Heathrow Airport and usually in other places where they sell are more, <clears throat> more their popular, let's say, perfumes, which is Roses on Ice, Good Girls Gone Bad and things like that, but this one is a little bit more difficult to find, but it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful, it's so warm, it's so cozy, and at the same time it is sexy, it's seductive, I absolutely love it. Next on my list, and I think it's my favorite number four, and it's a girl and lipstick. I think I already talked about it in some of my videos. I absolutely love girl and lipsticks in general, but this in particular, and this one is Big Glow. So it's not officially a lipstick, it's positioned as a lip balm, which gives color. And I have it in shade Rose, which is super soft, but it nourishes your lips. It's perfect for winter. And at the same time, it gives glow. And also, for example, I personally, I don't use lip gloss when my hair is like that. So I only use lip gloss when my hair is in ponytail or it's, you know, like really <laughs> up, not on my face because I hate the worst feeling for me ever is when my hair stuck to my lips. Ugh, this is just, I hate it. So this lipstick is definitely a saver for me because I still have glowy lips, juicy lips, but then no hair is, you know, just like stuck into my lips and really annoying me. Okay, and last on the beauty list, favorite number five, if I make my mask correctly, <laughs> and it is L'Occitane hand cream, but in particular 
the smell, the, the one that smells with honey, so I think it's called honey, just like that. And I, in general, really love lots of tan hair creams. I think they're really great. I usually opt for, you know, the most generic one because I do think that the one that is, I think, 20% karate is the most nourishing one and it's perfect for winter. But then, yeah, I had this advent calendar for of L'Occitane and I loved the honey one. So it's maybe a little bit less nourishing as the, the original one, but the smell is absolutely gorgeous. Let's start with favorites from Closet. So this time I only have two pieces and one is Cost Coat, which I got on sale. I think I paid like 70 euros. Yes, exactly. 70 euros. So it was with 60% discount. I got it in December or maybe not. No, I got it actually in January. Yes, I got it in January on 5th of January. Now I remember. And uh, I've been wearing it non-stop. It's absolutely perfect. It's a little bit oversized, so definitely super trendy. But then at the same time, it's so versatile. It goes perfectly with so many outfits of mine. And as I said, I've been wearing it non-stop and I'm sure I will continue doing it, styling it with so many different ways. So definitely, definitely, I don't think you can find it anymore. But in general, clothes have really great quality of things. Uh, they are well priced, they are not excessively overpriced, especially when we are comparing some other mass market brands, because you know that the prices went up really, really a lot. So they still maintain this more or less same pricing strategy as they used to have. And then, yeah, on sale, it was just an amazing, amazing deal. Another thing that I wanted to mention, and it's actually not new, it's Calcedonia leggings. I used when I bought, so I am talking about this faux leather Calcedonia leggings and um, I got them, I think, three years ago. I've been wearing them occasionally, but then this January was so cold in Madrid that I was just like looking for something that will keep me warm. And actually these leggings are lifesaver because they are with fleece coat inside, so fleece lining inside and they're extremely warm. And then again, you can style them in so many ways and they look nice, they look stylish, they are so comfortable also. So if you were looking for some uh, for, for some leggings or leather leggings, well, for leather leggings, I definitely recommend checking out the Calcedonia ones. I remember when I was buying them, they had like three or four different colors and I think they keep repeating it year after year. So I'm sure you can find them still. Next on my favorites list is actually Emily in Paris. I know so many people hate it and I will explain why I have it in my favorites. I mean, it's a little bit stupid, it's a little bit naive, it's, you know, far from reality. I absolutely get it, but it's so pleasing to your eyes. And that was exactly what I was looking for, you know. I watched before other seasons, so I just started watching straight season three already having this idea that, you know, I'm not getting into something really deep and mindful and so on and so on. I was looking for something easy, easy, as I was saying, that my eyes would just enjoy looking at. So I definitely got it. And that's exactly why it is my favorite of the month, because it's just nice watching it. That's it. It gives you, you know, nice mood, nice vibrations. And yeah, you just really simply enjoy watching it. Okay, and two last points on my favorite list, which will make it number nine and ten, I think, nine, ten, well, nine, ten, are things from London. So I recently went, well, not recently, a couple of weeks already ago, I went to London to meet my friends and I went straight into, you know, when my friend asked, like, where do you want to go? I was like, I want to go to Portnum and Mason. I love this shop. I love this brand. So they produce tea really nicely packed <laughs> package three i must say too but in general i love their tea they are amazing they have so many different tastes and of course that's where we went you can find also their teas here in madrid and some specific places where i know i can go and i usually purchase it there but of course we don't have that huge selection so this time we went and i got one of the earl grey teas which i'm obsessed and another one which i got is jasmine pearls and this is just insane because they look like little small pearls, little pearls. But then when you, you know, put it into the pot and fill it with hot water, they are actually leaves and they, the tea smells and tastes amazing. So this 
these in general are on my favorite list and in particular the Earl Grey tea and the Jasmine Pearl tea are absolute favorites of January. And last on my list are, well, it's a mix of <laughs> maybe a little bit everything, but I'll say it's a book of Otto Lenghi. So this is a chef. Uh, I think he is from Israel originally and his recipes are just so amazing. We went, in, we went to his restaurant and the food was so tasty. And it's basically turning all around vegetables. We were laughing with my friends, you know, just like reinventing the carrots, the aubergine and so on, but the veggies taste so good. So I got this book uh, on Amazon also, and just looking at the recipes, you see that, oh my God, you know, the potential the vegetables have are just like on the next level. You I would never ever think, you know, you can cook that many ways, um, cabbage or things like that. And again, just that it tastes so, so good. So it's definitely, you know, my favorite chief of the month, for sure. I'm sure I will be cooking a lot of things from his cooking book and I am looking forward to visit more of his restaurants. So that's it on my favorites list for January. Please let me know what did you try, what did you like from the list that I just mentioned, what were your favorites of January. Thanks a lot for watching, give a like to this video if you did, subscribe for my channel if you haven't, and see you in my next video.